Alrighty kids, it has officially started. It is July 15th and I am about to enter the land of Disney. <laughs> now, I haven't been here in years, years and years and years, but I've got two kids with me this time. So it should make for an interesting experience. All right, in we go. Alrighty, I'm at Edelweiss Snacks. I'm here to get myself a turkey leg. All right, now, let's find a place to eat. Check this out. It's only got one leg. Sweet. All right, so here's the famous turkey leg. I bought this at Edelweiss Snacks right at the base of the Matterhorn. Now, when I was a kid, I've always wanted to get one of these because I wanted to do the whole caveman rocking thing, but never did. This was $11.49, $12.38 with tax. Now, I've read that these are actually made with tom legs, meaning a male turkey, because the male turkeys have larger legs. So that means a bigger experience, right? Oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. Wow. That looks like the leg of the Iceman they found, mummified. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at the size of this thing. This must weigh a good pound or more. It is significant. It's heavy. It's warm. Here we go. Itadakimasu. say that's better than I expected. It's hot, it's juicy, it's succulent. The skin isn't crisp, but it's nicely cooked. Mmm! Actually, a lot better than I expected. It's actually very tender, not too salty. Tastes very hammy, a little bit like pastrami. It's really stinking good. After I saw Rat and Link taste this and they're like, I was like, oh no, but this is actually delicious. Maybe it's the context, maybe it's the first thing I've eaten, but it's a lot juicier and moister and warm and tastier than I thought it'd be. It's great. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing I like about it is that it's not dry. It's still succulent and not too smoky or hammy. It tastes like real smoke. It doesn't taste like liquid smoke, which I was expecting. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go track down my family and share this because there's no way I would ever be able to eat this entire place. But yeah, a lot better than I expected. The turkey leg from Ada Vice Snacks. Mm. Alrighty, so let's go track down our next Disney treat. How deep is this water? Oh, probably just 20 feet. Steer four zero degrees. So I am sitting on a bench on the end of Main Street, coming up onto Sleeping Beauty's castle with the Matterhorn yonder. Alrighty, it's chudo time. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. It's pretty delicious. It's got a little bit of a chew, definitely crunchy, coated with cinnamon and sugar. It's not doughy in the inside, but it does have a nice chew to it. Very sweet, and it has a kind of donuty fried flavor to it. Mm -hmm. This is also warm, but it doesn't taste freshly deep fried. Those ones are truly the best when they come right out of the fat. This is warm and toasty, but it doesn't have that clean, fried flavor that comes with just straight out of the hot fat deep fryer but still pretty stinking good mm -hmm. so now i'm in the jolly holiday cafe and i'm looking for a 
Matterhorn Macaroon. So once again, I've got to find a place to eat. Alrighty, so I'm right in front of the Jolly Holiday Cafe where you can find this, the Matterhorn Macaroon, which is a very tall coconut macaroon in the shape of the Matterhorn. It is found at the base of the Matterhorn, not surprisingly, in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle. And I've never had one of these before. It's a lot taller than I expected. And this costs $2.99. Alrighty, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. That's actually better than I expected. Of course, it has a great coconutty flavor made with tons and tons of desiccated coconut. It's got a little bit of chew to it. But what I find surprising, it has a great buttery flavor to it. It does taste like artificial butter flavoring, but that's not a bad thing. It tastes a little bit like cake box mix, that buttery flavor. But this is substantial, it's got a great chew, and the desiccated coconut has a nice texture in there, but I really like the buttery flavor to that. The top part is covered with a little bit of icing, so it's extra sweet. Let's try the bottom. Mmm. That's a little bit different. The bottom part, because it doesn't have the icing, is more tender and soft, while the top part has more of a crust. I actually like the softer texture better. It's a little bit more classic macaroon. But if you like extra sweetness, then you'll definitely like the top part better. But yes, this does stand up to the hype. It's delicious. Alrighty, let's get more food. <laughs> Alrighty, I've spotted it. The little red wagon, the place of the corn dog. Uh, So just across the street from the Jolly Holiday Cafe is the Little Red Wagon. And it's just a little food cart shaped like a little cute red car. And in it, they make hand-dipped, freshly made corn dogs. And apparently, they're to die for. So here's a little trick. You can pay $9 for a corn dog and a small bag of chips or apple slices. Or if you're not interested in the little, you know, snacky snack, you can just say just the corn dog, and you can get it for a little bit cheaper. So I paid $7.99, which is still exorbitant, but you save a couple bucks, unless you want, you know, chips or some apple slices. But in my case, I don't. So here is my freshly made corn dog. It looks amazing. I am a huge fan of corn dogs. Growing up in California and eating corn dog on a stick, love corn dogs. Love them. I'm gonna try it first without ketchup and mustard and see how it is. Alrighty, itadakimasu. Oh. It's a really good corn dog. Mm -hmm. Is it distinctive? Is it anything different than a freshly made corn dog? Not so sure. It has a great crunch. As you heard, great crispy exterior. I got a nice bite of the juicy hot dog in there, which is quite salty. Let me take another bite and see if I can get more of the breading on the outside. Mm, mm hmm It's got a very fluffy corn dog exterior. It's not thin, it's fluffy. It's more almost like cake-like. Slightly sweet, which is classic for a corn dog. Now, I think when it comes to corn dogs or any fried food for that matter, the best thing for it is that it needs to be freshly fried. It needs to be hot and right out of the fryer, which this is. And it's excellent. It's great. Is it any different than any other deep fried corn dog that I've had at, say, a fair? Not so sure that I would be able to distinguish the difference if I was blindfolded. All right, now let's give it a taste with some ketchup and mustard. All righty. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's what takes it to like the level of sublime. You have to have the ketchup and the mustard. The tang of the vinegar and the sweetness of the sugar that's in the ketchup and a little bit of mustard. It's just, it's just where it's at. That's it, right there. 
there you have it the little red wagon corn dog I recommend that one too delish Alrighty, let's go find some more food <laughs> Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, I'm at the Enchanted Tea Room in Disney's Adventureland and I'm about to eat my first Disney Dole Whip. Now the first time I had this was a few months ago when I was in Hawaii and it was absolutely amazing. I had it at the Dole Plantations. Its only weakness is that it is very susceptible to hot weather. So this is melting quickly. So let's give this a go. So good. It's like a hybrid between a sorbet, a sherbet, and a soft serve. It's got that smooth texture of a soft serve, but it's not so dairied. It's very, very fruity and pineapple-y. It's got a bit of artificial pineapple flavor in it, but it totally works. And in this blazing heat, it is absolutely wonderful. Cool, light, refreshing, yet satisfying like ice cream so good now here you can get it all different kinds of ways you can get it loaded but I just want to try it straight up Dole Whip is absolutely delicious so it's my understanding that you can only find Dole Whip in three places Disney World Disneyland and Dole Plantations but other people have told me otherwise so let me know in the comments what you know about Dole Whip I do know that Dole Whip is here because Adventureland was sponsored by the Dole Pineapple Company. Interesting, right? Smart branding. Alrighty, I'm gonna go find myself a spoon. We're gonna not take any walkers at the moment. Oh, so, rejected at Blue Bayou to have a reservation. So I'm gonna head over to the Orleans and they might have a walk-in spot for me. Alrighty, so I am at Cafe Orleans, ready to tuck into my Monte Cristo. Can you believe this? This looks nothing like my version of a Monte Cristo. Comes with grapes, berry jam, and deep fried goodness. Okay, let's eat this. So I didn't have a reservation, so I ended up waiting a good 45 minutes for this. So, this better be amazing. Alright, get myself a napkin. Ooh, this is crispy. Bread. We've got ham, cheese. There's turkey in there, and ham, and cheese. Alright, let's try it straight up first. Here we go. Nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alan. That's really good. It's a little less like French toast and more like a funnel cake to me. It's got that really crisp, deep fried flavor to it. And very much like a donut. And less like French toast. But that makes sense because this whole thing is deep fried. Deep fried. But there is a bit of that French toast element in it too. It's a little bit custardy. And then you've got the ham in there and the turkey, which is smoky savory and then you got cheese Alrighty, let's dip it into the raspberry jam i think it's raspberry jam let's find out mm. <laughs> that's an excellent pairing too the raspberry jam is sweet but a little bit tangy so you've got this kind of dessert sandwich thing going on. It's excellent. I think what I love most about this version of Monte Cristo is the texture. That crisp deep fried outside is amazing. Truly amazing. That bite was really custardy, so more reminiscent of French toast, but that crunch on the outside is killer. All right, let's have a great tip to make us feel better about things. <laughs> great grapes. Alrighty, so it's official. I've had my first 
Disney Monte Cristo sandwich, and it was spectacular. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how much I liked all the things I tasted today. There's a reason why they're on certain lists, because they were great. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of things that are not good at this event, but the ones I tried today were pretty outstanding. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.